What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. Huge shout out and thank you to Hendrick BMW for providing one of their pre-owned cars for today's video. Definitely check out their website down below for nice pre-owned vehicles as well as brand new BMWs. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in Lime Rush and had an original MSRP around $53,000. And then underneath the hood, the Toyota 4Runner utilizes a 4-liter, 6-cylinder engine. This pumps out 270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. It's still paired to the 5-speed automatic transmission and sends the power to the rear wheels. However, we do have a part-time 4-wheel drive system. And with a curb weight around 4,600 pounds and running on a 23-gallon fuel tank, you're looking at 16 miles per gallon in the city with 19 out on the highway. The overall length is 190.2 inches with wheelbase at 109.8, width is 75.8, and height is 71.5 inches. Minimum ground clearance is 9.6 inches, and then the approach angle is 33 degrees, breakover is 19.8 degrees, and departure is 26 degrees. And then now moving to the exterior design with the 2022 TRD Pro. This color really stands out in person and certainly has a bold design. You're going to see satin black trim all around to give it that off-road look. If we take a look up front, you can see the LED headlights with chrome housings and also some black accents to give them a more aggressive look. They bulge outward as well to help give it a wider appearance up front. There's LED fog lights on the farthest side with black trim all around them. And then right in the center, you'll see four amber lights in the upper portion of the grille with satin black all throughout the mesh. You get Toyota written out in the center of the grille with a forward facing camera and then more satin black in the lower portion of the center spot in the front bumper. This front end has a really aggressive look and fits the design very well. And then you'll notice how the hood slopes forward and flows seamlessly from the front bumper and headlights. There's a hood scoop trim piece on the top of the hood finished off in more of the satin black and it really helps in giving this that off-road look. And then moving to the side profile, we get a set of 17 inch TRD wheels finished off in more of the satin black. You can even see a red TRD hubcap right in the center. The rims are also wrapped in a Nitto Terra Grappler, which is the perfect tire for this sort of SUV. And then behind the wheels, you'll notice the TRD Fox suspension all around. They're much larger and beefier comparing it to the standard suspension and give this TRD Pro that added ride quality and off-road capability. This gets a set of body color door handles and body color mirror caps with cameras integrated in the lower side. There's also a set of running boards with two steps and you can see more black trim in the lower portion of the doors. The entire side profile of the 4Runner is very proportional. I like the sharp lines in the lower sides and I like how all the fenders bulge outward to give it that wider meaty appearance. We get TRD Pro on the C-pillar finished off in more black and a nice roof rack up top. It has crossbars in it to make it a usable roof rack and then there's the sunroof up in front of that. And then moving to the rear end, there's an integrated spoiler in the top portion of the lift gate. The wiper blade is underneath this and the third brake light is mounted on it. We have a sliding rear piece of glass that'll go into the lift gate and then there's more black trim all around it. We get a set of LED taillights with a lot of dimension and they bulge outward just like we saw up front with the headlights. 4Runner is written in the center in more black and you can see the Toyota logo above that. We get your standard backup camera, a button to raise and lower the rear glass, and then TRD Pro over on the right side. The rear bumper has more sharp lines and then you can see more of the black trim in the lower side that matches the front bumper. So there's a good look at the exterior with the 2022 TRD Pro 4Runner. This color is pretty bold, especially in person. Comment below, do you like it or not? So now we have Toyota's key fob, which is pretty basic. All you gotta do is go ahead and lock the vehicle. And then with the smart key access, all you have to do is grab the door handle, it'll unlock, and we can check out this interior. The TRD Pro 4Runner utilizes black soft text covering most of the interior, which is a synthetic leather. If we go ahead and take a look at the door panel now finished off in black, we even get red stitching up top and then a red stitching towards the armrest. We get some good padding on here as well, and then your grab handle in front of that with the release handle finished in chrome. All of your window controls and lock and unlock, a little bit more storage, and then more storage down below. These side steps protrude outward and you can get a really good look at them from this angle. Then we have the black door sill and all the power controls for the seat. We even get adjustable lumbar support. The soft text material has more red stitching on it and you can see how everything is nice and smooth along the bottoms and then making our way up to the backrest. You have a good size bolster, 
more smooth material, and then stitching on the headrest with TRD. Then spinning around, we have a black leather steering wheel with perforated leather on the sides, and then more of that metallic accent. And then now inside the TRD Pro, keeping my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. Looking at the gauges now, we have your analog tack over on the left with engine temperature, fuel level on the right as well as your speedometer, and then a small LCD display right in the center. You can control that screen using the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel. If we go down in the screen now and just scroll down, you can see a few more things that will come up. You have fueling, an eco indicator, you also have a digital speed readout, and then if we go over, you can see steering angle along with tire pressure. Then we have navigation that can come up, some audio controls that'll come up, safety, some messages, and then going into settings for more of these controls. Taking a look at the steering wheel now, we have controls over on the left for your volume, as well as some of the Bluetooth controls. We have the lane keeping and forwards pacing, and then those controls on the right side. Your cruise control lever is over on the right, then on the right stock, you can see your windshield wipers for the front and rear, and then turn signals and headlights to the left. Over on the left side of the steering wheel now, we have your mirror controls, as well as the auto high beams. And then this view button right here is actually a shortcut for the camera system. If I just tap that, you can see all the cameras that'll pop up. We have top down view, as well as a rear view. Then pressing this one, you can get a closer look at your front wheels it looks. So pretty nice to have a shortcut like that. We also have the air vent over on the left side, and then a cool textured material running across the entire dashboard. And then an aluminum color design over on this right side. We have a clock right in the center, your hazards and two more air vents, and then taking a look at the touchscreen infotainment system. I like how we have three different screens right in the center that you can configure. Swiping over, we have a few more things that will come up with setup information, apps, audio control. We have a shortcut home icon over on this left side. Then you can tap the menu button. So you can use the buttons on the left and right or actually go into the touchscreen. So it's nice to have at least a little bit of both. Some radio controls are over on the right side as well. Then we have a tuning dial on the right. And then your volume power is over on this left. All of your climate controls are down below. You can see a massive fan switch right here to turn this on and off. We have the off button, all of the different zones, air conditioning and recirc. And then it is dual zone with the dial over on the right. We have some USB ports down below and then a little bit of storage space, an extra cup holder and a change area. Then we have your four wheel drive selector over here. I like how this is like a manual shifter, which is great for off-roading. You don't have to wait for a dial to respond. And then we have your TRD shift knob with all of your gears, a little bit of this fake carbon fiber design with a little bit more storage and a cup holder. Heated seats are in the center. They're this little roller dial. Then we have a button right here for the rear glass that you saw on the outside. I can press that down, it is automatic, and then pull it all the way back up, which is a cool touch and most vehicles do not have a sliding glass like that. And then moving to the center, we have more of the soft text material and then the red stitching. And then opening this up, we have quite a lot of storage space in here. And then for the glove box, you press this button, it is lockable as well, and we have a pretty good amount of space with a nice shelf. And then one last look at the interior for the TRD Pro 4Runner. The biggest differences you're gonna see are the shift knob and then the seat accents. So it's a nice sporty design comparing it to a standard 4Runner. And then up top, we get a beige color for the headliner, a sunroof shade right in the center, and then all of your dome lights as well as the garage door openers. And then up top, we have a lot of the fun modes for TRD Pro. You can see traction control as well as your A-Track, locking rear differential, and then we have your crawl control over on the left that you can control how fast it goes. This is basically a low speed off-road cruise control. And then over on the right, we have the multi-train select. You can select this over and go into many different drive modes depending on what you're using this for off-road. And all of these features really work well together to make this extremely capable hidden trails. Moving to the rear seat space, I can go ahead and open up the door. The rear door panels finished off just like we saw up front with the red stitching. And then we get more red stitching and the black soft text material in back. This is a three seater back here. We have storage nets on the back side of these front seats and then air vents in the center along with two USB ports down below. As far as the configurations for these rear seats, you can lift the bottoms up by grabbing this fabric strap and then the headrest actually will fold down like this. Then you press the one button and these will slide down and fold nicely and flat. 
So then hopping into the back seat now of the Toyota 4Runner, I'm 5'11", I have a few inches of headroom. You will notice how the ceiling kind of cuts upwards to give you that extra headroom. And then I have the driver's seat set at my height, and I have really good knee room as well as foot room. It's a pretty roomy vehicle, and you do have reclining seats. There's a lever on this left side, and you can recline this quite a lot. You can tell the differences between the seat to the right of me. So it's actually a pretty comfortable vehicle for even longer trips. My dad has owned a 4Runner for about a decade, and I've done 18-hour road trips in these things. Not too bad of a vehicle. You have a nice armrest on the left side and a pretty large window. And then right in the center, I can pull this down, and we have a good armrest down here with two more cup holders. And then all the headrests, of course, go up and down. And then moving to the cargo area, the buttons on this rear, all you do is hold it down and the rear glass is gonna slide all the way down. And then to put it back up, you just hold the button and it will slide back upwards. Awesome feature, especially for a practical daily like this. We have the button back here and we can lift open this rear tailgate. In back, you can see part of the TRD Pro floor mats that have a really cool rugged design. And a nice option, which is around a $300 option, is this shelf piece. It has an unlock lever right in the center. And you can grab this actually and pull it all the way out. It's a really easy way to load larger items into the back of this SUV without bumping your bumper. So this is a pretty cool feature. And then it does lock. It can handle 440 pounds. And then by unlocking it, we can slide it all the way back into place. You do get quite a lot of storage space in the back of a 4Runner, a cubby over on the left, and then same thing over on the right with the JBL audio system. And with the back seats folded down, you can see just how much more storage space we have in the back of a 4Runner. Extremely practical SUV. I love how these do fold down nice and flat. They get completely out of the way. Definitely a very usable vehicle. And with all the TRD Pro off-road capabilities, you can pretty much do anything with this truck. So we are setting off now in the 2022 TRD Pro 4Runner. So first off, this color is pretty wild looking in person. I actually kind of like it. I'm not used to seeing this color, of course, on an SUV like this, especially from Toyota, but it's pretty bold and definitely in your face and all the black accents really come together well. As far as the drive of this vehicle, you will hear the TRD exhaust pretty good. It's got a nice little tone to it comparing it to just the standard exhaust system. Visibility and everything is pretty good in this as well. I like how squared off all the glasses. So you do have a really good view. You can even see the contours in the hood. I like the little hood scoop design. It is a fake hood scoop, but at least it does kind of look cool. And then over my left and right shoulder, you have a really good view all around. As far as normal ride quality, so with the Fox suspension, this is a much softer suspension setup than even the Bill Steins you get or even just the factory basic suspension system. It is a really good riding vehicle. Right now, we're just cruising at like 50 and the suspension absorbs every little bump. You don't feel anything. There is a lot of body roll. <laughs> uh, a little bit faster, I'd probably flip this thing. And then there is quite a lot of brake dive as well. So that is one of the sacrifices you're gonna get with the 4Runner in general. And then the TRD Pro, those are a little bit worse than the standard one because it's really geared towards hitting the trails, the articulation, the high speed bumps, things like that. But the seats themselves, you have quite a few configurations and I like how they are powered. So it's an easy vehicle to get nice and comfortable in. Armrests are in a great place. It really is a comfortable vehicle just to drive. And also, everything is pretty simple to use. Toyota doesn't go crazy with the technology. You know, this vehicle is kind of outdated by today's standards. There's nothing really too new in it right now. Uh, you have your basic touchscreen with some buttons and then basic climate control buttons. So there's nothing crazy fancy about anything the way it works but it's very familiar and just easy. I think anybody, if you're coming to the 4Runner for your first time being in one of these, it's a pretty easy vehicle getting used to it. So we'll get up to some speed. So we have the V6. It's decently quick. I mean, it gets up to speed. The five speed, again, a little outdated. You know, the six speed they added to the Tacoma back in 2016 would be nice to see in the 4Runner as well. And I'm sure we're getting really close to a full refresh for the Toyota 4Runner because this is pretty much the same as the previous generation, aside from it looking a little bit newer. But underneath, it still is the old school vehicle. So it's definitely due for something new. But even though this is the newest one, the 2022, it still just is a nice vehicle to drive. My dad has owned two of them. He's almost at 90,000 miles on his current one, which is the same generation as this one. And they hold up. We all know this is reliable. It's bulletproof. You can do anything with it, and it's just not going to break. And that is why they are so popular and why they sell so well, is because you can depend on a 4Runner. You can really depend on it. <laughs> Sharp turn. 
Uh, not exactly a sports car, obviously, but even when you are hitting these off-road, you know they're good. They have all the technology, the crawl control is fantastic, the multi-terrain select, the four-wheel drive, locking diff. I mean, my brother's Tacoma has all these same features and you never get stuck. So this thing, you're of course never gonna get stuck and you're never gonna break down. And that is a huge selling point to one of these. So TRD Pro, the added benefits, basically you get the front skid plate, the suspension, and then it's all cosmetic from there. All of this technology you can get in other trim levels as well. So you kind of do get a 50-50 blend of some functional mods and then more aesthetics. But nonetheless, you know, the TRD Pro comes together pretty nicely. And as far as using this as a normal SUV, you do have so much space in it. And it's kind of just, I would say the middle of the road, what you would expect an SUV to do. It can do the luxury stuff because it's pretty comfortable in here. It can do the sporty things like off-roading. It can tow over 5,000 pounds. So you can tow a nice size boat, a utility trailer or things like that. So it's a pretty good all around vehicle. You know, there's nothing too crazy fancy about it. It's not the fastest thing. It's not the smoothest thing but it kind of hits everything really well to make it a pretty solid vehicle. The buttons over here are also pretty easy to see. I like how everything is pretty big, good font, good contrast, and Toyota really does that because they don't want people to be confused when using their vehicles. They want everything simple, basic, and user-friendly. You have really big knobs on here. That way, even if you're wearing gloves or something, you can still adjust your buttons and adjust everything. So I like how they've done that. Shifter, same thing, really large. This is super easy to do the four-wheel drive selector. So just a good all around vehicle. The brakes work pretty well, you just got that brake dive. Steering, I mean it's a normal SUV, nothing too crazy. You know, it's light enough, heavy enough, it works. But overall, pretty good blend of everything. We'll open up the sunroof shade, which is a cool feature to have. But I think that's about it then for the TRD Pro Toyota 4Runner. So big shout out and thank you once again to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing this TRD Pro for today's video. Definitely check out their website, links down below. They get some nice pre-owned vehicles just like this and of course some nice BMWs. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content and I'll see you all in the next video.